just about 10 months or so ago, um, I my last uh, here on YouTube. It's an official Norm MacDonald uh, set list from a uh, comedy club. I, I started uh, hitting other open mics. I, I, I think I wrote some great <laughs> my brother while I'm at it. Sister too. Everybody, man. Hey, uh, any of you guys ever been in a straight jacket? Me neither, you know? And uh, when you're on stage and you're high, you have to uh, an audience, is what I've learned. That could be hard sometimes. That could be a challenge if you're, uh, if you're stoned. But here at the podcast, you know, I can get my own pace, man. I feel relaxed. Remember back in the old days, there used to comedians off the stage with a I've I actually desired to be uh, off in one of those, oddly enough. You know, we're just sitting down and spending some time together. It's been it's been like ten months since I've you guys. Um, it's all for fun and jokes, and there's nothing more beautiful. Uh, there's nothing more beautiful than. Con but I'm spending all my time in this bar. There's a cast of characters. I have more friends. I have more friends since October. Uh, since October than I have in my entire life. And Angela. How do I describe Angela? Angela is like a... Uh, tornado. Of... And she's a... She's a... Person. She's a... Person. And it's really cool to be her friend. Intervention. Intervention, Kaz. <laughs> Sorry to out you. <laughs> you buddy let's see did i say uh randy randy ass paul jeremy my gay crew I those guys they have a beautiful they're awesome i i can't believe how many people i now it's quite frankly uh overwhelming and then there's then there's this fellow named patrick patrick's a fellow Patrick is fucking. He's always uh, on me. Um, uh, we we need like an enemy, but like also enemies that each other. You know, this is the only guy who I met in the first night, and just when he went to go grab my for God whatever reason, I I, I just didn't flinch and I let him. This guy is a uh, a, a fella. He likes to uh, grab. So there you go, Patrick. <laughs> oh boy, and I'm not offended by it. I'm just a little perplexed why um, the barrel is still in business. That's why, in a way, you could call me a. But you better not fucking do it in public, man. I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas, and uh, I'd like to talk about it. All I wanted for Christmas this year was for them to bring horrible. For Alec Baldwin to justice. Alec Baldwin, uh, you can't your way out of this. They searched his cell phone. And before the shooting, there was a text message sent from his phone that said, I need a bigger Guys, this is not Alec Baldwin's first rodeo. Obama out. Peace. You guys.